día de hoy es con el street art. Te veo después de la apertura para disfrutar de una visita guiada por las calles de Williamsburg. Vení conmigo. a nice little wall just kind of give you an idea of sort of the grittier elements as opposed to like a full production piece so you have different kinds of wheat paste here various degrees of kind of coming apart here this was left by uh, people named uh, Wakuda Studios left this particular piece and then above him is DW Krishna uh, Dit Luer uh, which is a character that actually got recently retired from the streets he's been around uh, over a decade and, and then this is another one that's also uh, very much uh, a uh, very big part of the city here, and that's Cost. Uh, he was one of the first people to use paper and glue in the 90s. He's kind of known as a, sort of a legend, and part of the reason why is because he is able to take over the city. So you'll see Cost everywhere, and he's just prolific and just nonstop. But here's where you got the, uh, the spray with the drip here. So you got kind of the rainbow colored misting, which is common with the uh, with this type of work. Dd's actually his work had gotten partially destroyed and came back and put a smaller one. And that's what you get with Dd. You got like the Asian writing, this uh, lingerie character, and then there's a, the cat. And then sometimes you'll see a skull also switched out. It's like a bejeweled skull. It's kind of got a Picasso vibe. These like one-liners uh, by Ray. R-A-E, and uh, these kind of pieces, you'll see these. And Ray's known actually for doing sculptures. And he's playing uh, off of like perfume ads, keeping up appearances. He has another one called Pretentious. So it's, uh, and he uses, uh, you saw in the show also, like, like attractive women and like pink coloration as his work. Uh, he's from Staten Island, um, and he learned how to paint at an art league. Uh, and uh, I was doing graffiti and studying oil painters and that's how he sort of developed this oil inspired aerosol style that he does. And it's got a lot of like kind of almost graffiti elements. You see almost like clouds which you're seeing graffiti. It has like kind of a nature vibe to it. Uh, and then it's also like gritty uh, when you have like all the drips and intentional dripping and kind of looks like it's kind of really kind of smashing into there. So it, it, it's definitely like this is like a great combination of like beauty and then also like the grittiness that you find in street work. Yeah. This is work by an artist named Kate down there. Uh, and she's, uh, she has a lot of classical training, so she has degrees, she's fine art and painting. Uh, and she took to the streets, uh, kind of escaped from the, uh, from the studio. And then uh, on the door that's actually becoming revealed to us is the Army of One handprint. It's a red handprint uh, by a guy named Army of One who uh, he adopted this picture by uh, this photographer, Diane Arbus, of a child holding a gra grenade and he used it as an anti-war uh, basically message that he would put on. Uh, and he would actually put his whole, he'd put red pen on his hand and he would leave a handprint. So that's what this is representing. Never Satisfied uh, is one of the more colorful characters, not just his artwork, but him himself uh, in the uh, community. Uh, had some interesting uh, back and forth with him online. Uh, he, always, he always leaves you with a laugh. Uh, and that's sort of his demeanor, Never Satisfied, kind of like, kind of grumpy, complaining, so that's how his name developed. Uh, and then his like really sad owl is basically his signature. Uh, and then if you follow that, that detonation chord, you get to the other artist who is Yacht. Uh, Yaki is from Perth, Australia. He's based out of Brooklyn now. Uh, so this would be like the Wiley Coyote. Uh, but of course, typical street art fashion, you see how he has this tail, which definitely doesn't look like a coyote tail. It looks almost like maybe it's a rat tail. So he's kind of throwing things on his head. Yaki, you'll see from him, he works primarily black, white, red. Uh, and you see a splash of yellow in there. The Acme lets you know we're dealing with Roadrunner. Uh, and he, but that like those those circular kind of droopy eyes. There's a third eye there that he's known for. He also uses a cutout heart as a nose. Uh, and he paints with a woman by the name of Sharia, who's from Singapore, and they they travel all over the world together painting as well. Uh, and they're a duo based out of New York. Uh, 
graphic design, advertising, professional, uh, and they uh, do these collages. They kind of marry East and West and like use a kind of throwback, like vintage styles. Te veo el próximo jueves. Ya te suscribiste a mi canal. Chao, chao.